Greetings. Let's talk about Omega-3 again, my favorite topic. I just created the video on men and Omega-3. Now we're going to talk about the guys or the blokes we say in Australia, the blokes or the dudes. They say the dudes or something. How much Omega-3 for dudes or blokes or guys or whatever. So let's talk about that. We've discussed previously about the Omega-3 index level or the Omega index level. That's not a bad one to do for a guy. This is a test a doctor can do. A medical doctor or a naturopathic doctor should be able to do it. So look at the video I did on Omega Index. It explains it a bit more. But what they basically do is do a blood test and they look at how much fatty acids, uh, how much of the Omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, are actually in the membrane of the red blood cell. Right? And what they find is healthy people uh, tend to have good levels, you know, uh, five, six, seven. But the average American, the average Australian, will have a level between three to five. So eight is the cardioprotective omega index. We want to be between eight to 12 to have really good anti-inflammatory control. But many people are not even half that. So testing is a smart way to find out what the guy really needs. But in absence of testing, because I know that a lot of people aren't going to get the test done, either they can't afford it or they don't want to do it, or there's no doctor that, that believes in the test. You know, we get that sort of nonsense. So. Let's see what have I got here. Um, I've written here, I've had many younger and middle-aged male patients take 3,000 milligrams of omega fish oil per day for extended periods with no problem at all. Right? Some, in fact, many experts in the field would argue that teens and boys would benefit from as much as 4,000 milligrams a day. It can certainly do no harm. And from the studies I've read, these young males, you know, guys say between 13, 14, 15, up to about 20, really benefit from a good dose of omega-3. And remember their brain's still developing when they're in their teens as well. So having all of these good fats tend to offset the bad fats because young guys like to eat crap, okay? Not all of them, but a lot of them will eat potato chips, deep fried foods, they'll have hydrogenated fats, they'll have all these omega-6 fats that tend to be more pro-inflammatory. They're getting away with it because they're young males. When they're old geezers like me, they won't get away with it. Right? So when you're 60 like me, you pay for what you did when you were 20. Either, you know, if you kill someone when you're 20, you're still paying for it when you're 60. But if you eat, kill bags of chips for 30, 40, 50 years, by the time you're 60, you'll be really paying the price. So that's why it's good for young guys to take omega-3, cut back on crappy food. But older guys, of course, will benefit from omega-3 just as well, if not more. Right? The other interesting thing I find is when people take omega fats regularly in their diet through fish or supplements, is it tends to also curb the appetite for the crappy fats and the bad foods. Right? It tends to make you feel a bit differently. So we want a ratio of omega-3 to 6, omega-6 fats, obviously around you know 1, 1 to 1, 2 or something like that. But at the moment, we've got ratios as high as 17, 20, or even 30 times more omega-6 than omega-3 and it's coming through processed foods. Right? That's why fresh is always best. So for guys my age, 60 plus, I reckon between 3,000 to 6,000 milligrams per day. All right? And uh, the dosage level depends on what your conditions you may have. Maybe diabetes, maybe high, uh, high blood pressure, could be skin problem, eye problem. Uh, whatever it is, you'll benefit from it. Higher dosages are great for cognitive support. Um, Clarity of thinking, reasoning, concentration, attention span, finding your way home, uh, where you left your car keys, wallet or sunglasses. You know, because lots of people my age plus get memory problems. Now, what was I saying? I nearly got you there, didn't I? So, short-term memory, remembering names and things like this. This is why Omega-3 is very important because it keeps your brain fine-tuned and sharp. It's a good thing to have when you get older, right? Although old people can play on it a bit. That's a good thing to do too. What was that you said? Forgot what you said there. So a good quality omega-3 will support the heart and circulatory system, as well as the brain, the eyes, skin, hair, nails, and providing a solid level of immune support. So if you have an existing heart problem, you can you can take between four to 6,000 a day, all right? If you have no history of heart problems and are in fine shape with your heart and cholesterol-wise, take 3,000 a day. If you have chronic pain, take 4,000 a day. I don't only recommend omega-3 supplements for men or women. I also believe based on evidence, 
that omega-3s best contain with some seafood in your diet. I'm about to have lunch. What time is it now? Getting hungry. It's nearly one o'clock. My lunch today will be a couple of pieces of herring. Okay. This herring's been like fermented, like pickled herring. Two pieces of that, uh, two fillets, and then I'll have a big green salad with that. And I'll probably have some uh, sweet potato that's been cooked up as well. So that's my lunch today. So always trying to chip away at adding some omega-3 into the diet. And I take supplements. With, I take the omega-3 plus with breakfast and I take with dinner. So always supplementing and looking at ways to get the omega into the body as a male. For the old ticker, for the brain, um, you know, for these um, eye goggles and all that kind of stuff, it just improves you and keeps you in, in good shape. So, if seafood is neither desired nor available, I rec recommend a constant 3,000 per day omega. A reduced intake of omega-6 containing foods like vegetable oils, processed foods, takeaway, olive oil is the best option. In addition to trying to incorporate flaxseed into your diet. So, anything else I can say? Yeah. Anyway, for guys, if they can include some seafood into their diet, wild, wild caught fish at least once or twice a week, uh, and a reduced intake of the omega-6, the processed foods, um, I think it's going to really help because if you reduce those foods, you reduce inflammation, you take in away causes of inflammatory conditions, and if you include the omega-6, then you're boosting the anti-inflammatory action. And you may even live a bit longer. Isn't that great? You can be a real pain to everyone around you then when you get to your 90s. Thanks for tuning in.